Okay, so... Basically, two big things happened last time. First, we found Dalen. Finally. He's upstairs, if I'm not mistaken. And we got a couple jukebox tokens, leading to something in the quarry called the Foundation. From what I know of it, the Foundation's actually the start of the DLC of the exact same name. We're going to be looking into that, but first, because it's kind of been the whole po the point of the whole game, we should go find Dylan. In fact... What's this? I have a couple things. Anchor procedures. Okay. Ocelot's Anchor. AI 11-UE. Containment procedure. Black rock paneling successfully prevents manifestation of the sphere. It's probably that thing we saw when we fought it. Description slash altered effect. A Trotman-style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock. Surface is rusted in places. Weighs 3,789 pounds. The item generates a persistent black sphere, the purpose of which is currently unknown. The sphere is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item, specific, specifically redacted horizontal feet and redacted vertical feet from the redacted of the anchor. Probably like about the center or so? Appendix 425-1983 Redacted Ranger First Class was dropped into the sphere wearing a diving suit with dedicated oxygen line at Redacted AM Eastern. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the sphere, Redacted's oxygen line was cut at the sphere's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room during Redacted's entry into the sphere experienced vomiting, vertigo, and loss of fingernails within an hour of one another. Ranger Redacted has been declared MIA, presumed dead. Interestingly, this thing makes no mention of the fact that it was spitting clocks everywhere, to the point that it was flooding the area we found it in. Arctic Queen, AI-10-KE. No unique pr procedures required. An Arctic Queen brand electric refrigerator model from the 1960s. No cooling functionality. The door is decorated with crayon illustrations by Redacted. Illustrations cannot be removed from the item. All attempts have failed. The paper cannot be burned or torn. Hmm. The item first came into the Bureau's attention after it survived the collapse of New York City's Grand Central Hotel, where it's served as an appliance and apartment redacted, rented by a man named Redacted. It became the subject of local infamy after surviving the building's collapse undamaged. Mr. Redacted, who was out of the building at the time of the collapse, Redacted PM, retained ownership of the item until 1974, when the Bureau purchased the item through a false identity. Appendix. New altered effect has been observed. See file... AI10-F for details. See file AI10.K for new containment procedures. We don't have it. What we do know from first-hand experience, though, is you die if you stop looking at the... if nobody's looking at that stupid thing. We're not sure how you... but that poor guy we tried to rescue from it, uh... yeah, that didn't end well. We met former. It was the thing when we tried to deal with the refrigerator. The board apparently has problems with it. Yes. Did I never open this?
Objects of power are unique in their capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these individuals para-utilitarians. Potencies of these abilities depends on the para-utilitarian. Using the redacted object of power as an example, some para-utilitarians can receive a throw distance of redacted, while others are only capable of little as redacted. See Dr. Darling presentation 11.15 for more info. They probably mean the floppy disk. What exactly determines an individual's para- Natural competence is unknown, but it is largely believed that some redacted exist within the body and that, like all muscles, it can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to the Northmore records, considering he is one of the most accomplished para-utilitarians the Bureau has ever seen. Dr. Darling is still considering the request. Refer to file 8-54-1982 for the full report. Probably don't need to go to. Supposed to be in central executive. That's going the wrong way. Apparently, the director restored HRA production. They're already getting other survivors out of safety. Great. Maybe I can. <clears throat> Apparently, I missed a bunch of stuff up here. So let's just get rid of that. Dr. Darling. Yeah, Pharaoh Bureau Control and Play Report. Dr. Darling has personally recommended Ms. Pope for a promotion based on her work ethic and assistance in seeing many ongoing research matters. See research reports redacted for breakthroughs resulting from her work. Recommendation. According to her colleagues, Pope has displayed a keen eye for detail and a quick grasp of paranatural concepts. She is professional and diligent, though some of her co-workers complain of social disinterest. The review committee approves the recommendation and promotes Miss Pope to the position of research specialist. Wait, wrong button. Any collective unconscious? Collective unconscious is defined as a form of unconscious conscious that is shared in all human minds. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through our ancestral heritage. See Jung Report, page 12 through 34. Through the collective, con through the collective con unconscious, we unknowingly are a series of images and archetypes to all elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and culture. This internal belief in the power of images shared by a massive population is redacted in the creation of altered items and objects of power. The sheer amount of redacted excluded is attracted to the best representation of that image, imbuing a single object with massive amounts of redacted. Theoretically, places of power could likewise be formed by the simple power of sustained collective belief. Refer to file 5-41-7532 for full report. Yeah, this is... Supposedly the service weapon is... It either is or is somehow linked to any legendary weapon you could care to name. We may or may not be carrying Excalibur in gun form is what I'm saying. Um, what the hell? It's a lot of post-it notes. <laughs> I just picked up a sticky note complaint. Okay, we gotta see this real quick.
To whom it may concern, in case you are not aware, something caused a sticky note in my office to duplicate. My office is unusable now. I'll be working from home until it is resolved. You can reach me on my cell or home phone. Sincerely, Jay Bozer, Vice Chief of Staff. Are... Is this an altered item that's just filling the room with copies of itself? Is that what we're looking at? Is it an elaborate office prank? I'm not sure. What do you know about this Arish guy? I heard some rangers saying he saved them in maintenance. They were attacked by a new kind of hiss, and Arish got them out. All right, this is him. Our four reports reminder. Hello. As you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form R4.E from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under Section 75.2 of the Employee Manual. If your R4 requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Dr. Darling, Ms. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on t Thursday in their annual policy review, so please schedule accordingly. Best, your admin team. And excuse me, I need a drink. Oh, they're talking about Dylan. Why are you staring down a radio? I'm starting to hear the weird hiss noise again. Oh, wrong button. Not there. Shifted bathroom complaint. Listen, I know you can't control the building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off on the Lavabad station for three years. I've earned the right to a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. D. Rodriguez. Hmm. Armed guards, probably him. Oh yeah. Hi, buddy. This is probably the clearest we've ever been able to hear whatever the hell it is the hiss are saying. That's not helping. It doesn't make sense. Shit. That's Dylan. Can you hear me? Come on, Dylan. I'm here. I found you. Do you know who I am? Oh, you know me. Say it. You are Dylan Faden's sister. He's talking in the third person. Always a good sign. Do you know who you are? Not Dylan. Trench and Darling made sure of that. I'm P6. P6. But I'm better now. The hiss made me better. Push the fingers through the surface into the wet. You've always been the new you. You want this Can you to stop be true. that? Please. 
Not exactly the reunion I'd hoped for. It feels good to say those words. I want to say them. They sound good. They make me feel good. Don't you want to say them too? No. Fuck off, no. You need to help me get this thing out of his head. If he is still in there, if there is anything left, you have to you. help me. You! You came in through the hole in you! We let you in! You've always been here! The only true A copy of a copy of a copy of a copy! Stop it! Orangeville! Shit! Shit! He can see you. This is not safe. We found Polaris together with my sister when we were very small, in ordinary, in the desert, through the door opened up by the slide projector. But she didn't help when Trench took me away. She didn't give me any powers. All the powers are my own powers. And she didn't help when they locked me up for years. After the song time for applause, we build you till nothing remains. The air cracks and the truth will march out of you. You are home. The Bureau brought the slide projector back here with me. And the Bureau did what the Bureau does. They used it, and they found. They opened the door up to the hiss. That's the only thing I can thank them for. There, there it is. We stopped the altered world event in Ordinary when we shut down the slide projector. And now the projector's here. When your worm is a tune, you can't stop humming in a dream. Baby, 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 yeah. Just plastic, so safe, nothing to worry about. <laughs> Funny. I welcomed the hiss. I let it in to get rid of her. The hiss set me free. Polaris is using you. The Bureau is using you. You are a puppet. You can almost hear our words, but you forget. If we shut off the slide projector, maybe, maybe that will stop the hiss. Maybe it's not too late for my brother. You must see the truth for yourself, Jesse. Sister. The horrible truth about the Bureau. The hiss is the better option. Go to the Prime Candidate program in the containment sector. I have the key card to get you there. Salvador wanted me to have it. Wanted? Bullshit. I saw what the hiss did to Salvador. What it turned him into. Okay, Dylan. I'll go. I want to see the truth for myself. I'll go. But only to look for this lie projector. You can help me. We can end this. You are a worm through time. But you are a worm through time. The thunder's cold distorts you. Happiness comes. Is there anything else I can say to him or I don't know what else I'm hoping to find here. Dylan. Can we talk? I'd like to tell you about a dream I had last night. Off to a good start. Okay. I'm listening. I was back in Ordinary, before all of this happened. But in the dream, I was alone. It was just me. I was the only child. A girl. My name was Jesse Dylan Faden. But then the Bureau came and caught me. Brought me back here. Lock me up. Have you ever noticed that our names, Jesse, Dylan, they could be girls' names, boys' names, could be anything. 
Don't you find that weird? I find that weird. Sure. What the hell was that? Is he trying to mess with me? You are alarmed through time. The thunder's cold distorts you. Happiness comes white pearls but yellow. And Anything if I try again? You will mirror the inverted as they right. Maybe Dylan's still in there. Maybe there's a way to reach him. I'd like to talk to my brother, please. Dylan? Dylan would like to tell you about a dream he had just now. This again? I was going to be the new director of this place. I helped you get a job here so that we could be together. You were an office assistant. You'd make coffee and deliver the mail. And there was always plenty of work to do. And it stayed that way forever and ever. It was nice. Really nice. That's debatable. But here's the strange thing. The dream shifted and none of it was real anymore. It was a game. We were in a game. And it was a fucking boring game. But you couldn't stop playing. And then it shifted again. Or, or maybe it was another dream already. Or, or maybe I'm just confusing them. But in this other dream, it was more like a musical. This is an ordinary song about an ordinary girl from an ordinary town. It's the ordinary story. She worked an ordinary job in an ordinary office. Something, 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 something. And that's all I can remember of that dream. Maybe that's for the best. You are alarmed through time. The thunder's cold distorts you. Happiness comes white pearls, but yellow and red in the eye. Um, rule of three? Maybe I can learn more about the hiss from him. Can we talk? I just had an interesting dream. Oh god, not again. Oh, shit. That's fascinating, but let's talk about the hiss for a change, yeah? This dream was about the hiss. Uh, best I'm gonna get. In my dream, the hiss had broken free of this prison, this house. I'd set it free. And the president himself was there to welcome us. He was the first one to take the hiss in. Spread the word. At first, many people thought it was horrifying. That he was horrifying. But also, Many people who heard his words wanted to welcome the hiss in. And slowly, more and more of them came around until the whole world was brought together by the hiss. It was wonderful. Okay, thanks for sharing that. For the record, that will never happen. Not as long as I'm alive. That, um, that sounded more like a threat than a dream, and yeah, we're done here, actually. Quick look around for collectibles, nothing, nothing, okay, we'll go now. Don't want to do face of the enemy yet. Oh, whoops, we forgot to finish fridge duty. No problem, we can just... We'll go hand it in real quick. And that's actually back at the Panopticon, so we go here.
do. We go back to security. Some of the security cameras aren't working. How do I get those fixed? How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. You never did like fridge duty. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it and wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But, since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. What just got asked of us? Dr. Underhill below Central Research. Looking for a Japanese paper lantern, a traffic light, a hand chair, and the moving letters. Guess we just keep an eye out. First and foremost, we'll want to go back to central research to see about the growth. It's probably something about the mold. For now, though, let's get the foundation going because that was the goal for today. Extra security on your brother. No offense, but that dude is the scariest motherfucker I have ever laid eyes on. Like I said, though, no offense. I have to go. Me too. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. What's that stupid thing? Oof. Lots of errors on this form. This is Lynn Salvador, head of Bureau of Security. I'm making a formal security order due to the incident in April. Case number 21HQ593. Improper use of the jukebox altered item led to two fatalities. We believe a pair of agents used the jukebox to travel to the quarry threshold and engage in inappropriate workplace behavior. An expedition team found them decomposing at the formation's base a week later. At least we found out the jukebox doesn't bring corpses back when the song ends. I'm having the jukebox placed in a secure location in the executive sector. It should never have been accessible to low clearance staff in the first place. 
The new location security and proximity to a high traffic area will prevent misuse while still allowing for expedition teams to access it when required. See me for any further details. That's just the elevator. Could be in here. No, but we get chest. That's good. We found it. I don't know what to expect. Something in me says it's going to be some sort of horde mode or something. If that's the case, I guess I'll just play the one song out and then move on. We'll see what happens. Yeah, okay, it looks like it's... Let's see. Sound a little out of tune there, bud. So it looks like the thing I have to deal with is a penalty to shatter damage. Which is fine, I use spin and pierce. Mm hmm? Yeah, we're... I forgot for a moment that I had levitate. things I'm trying to get at. I hear you, but where are you? That'll shut him up. Looks like that's one of the things I'm looking for down there.
Or perhaps not. Oops. We're still down here. Eh, I screwed up. Oh. Well, that was weird. That didn't end well. That said, with only 18 minutes left, I doubt I could clear this, so...
Okay, there's still one more somewhere. Maybe down that weird hallway? Stay around. There we go. Pierce. Look at this guy take a beating. What the heck even hit me?
Still got 12 minutes, but I'm kind of... Doesn't even give me a map. And I'm wondering what all this is for. There doesn't seem to be anything back here. I can take this one over. Annoyingly, there doesn't seem to be anywhere to leave this until the timer goes off, but it's already clear I'm not going to make it in time. Oh, okay, abandoned expedition. Yeah, we're going back and then we're going to go down to central research. This is interesting, but doesn't seem to further the story or anything, so we're just going. It's like I suspect that it's just horde mode. And it feels like it was built for somebody with a lot more ability points on him than I have.
So I could probably hand those in now, so we'll do that. But first... Oh yeah, this is the recording we just listened. Excuse me, listen to. You know what, this is getting kind of full. Let's start getting rid of our tier 2 stuff. Because we're getting a lot more tier 3 and 4 now, so... Okay, let's hand these in. You know what, I'll take research incursion because I'm in research now. Are we done yet? Okay, so they have beneath central research, so this looks like as good a way to go as any. And I clearly haven't been here. Um, this looks like somebody tried to write down his speech. Let's get rid of the health recovery perk pickup in favor of a straight health boost. It's pirate tier, we're probably getting more of it now. Song questionnaire. Auditory experience, 84.C, Poets of the Fall, My Dark Disquiet. That might have been a thing I, I saw on the board. Answer questions within two minutes of listening. Does the song elliptic elicit any particular memories? If so, elaborate. Did you at any point feel a strong emotion? If so, what emotion? A clear image of a weapon appear at your mind during the song. If so, elaborate. Provide a detailed description of your current surroundings as you see them. Have you ever heard the murmur of voices when no one is present? If so, what did they say? Did you Do you hear them now? <coughs> Excuse me. Please choose one from each of the following pairs. One or two, A or B, day or night, apple or orange, burn out or fade away. 
Huh? Okay, that's just weird. Oh. That's a big pair of speakers. I'm guessing that's where they, uh, that's what the song came out of. They sit in that. And, uh, was it like altered item or something? I see mold. I think I just heard the mold. Eh, we're back to where we started. Oh, hello. Hmm. There's a place I can only safely go down with levitate. What's down here? It's a lot of mold. It's like covering walls and everything. Oh, it's one of those things. Okay. Come along. meant to put it down areas under quarantine I wouldn't go in there without talking to underhill first even if you have I still wouldn't go in looks like we want to be over here maybe no oh, chest Maybe that thing I walked away from was where Underhill was. Excuse me. Are you lost? Got a couple files here. Alternate perspective, re-thresholds utility research. Dr. Darling's recently penned essay titled for Redacted contains some glaring omissions I feel must I must shine some light on. Firstly, the entire premise of the essay is that the quarry threshold is beneficial to the Bureau. While the mold is actively hostile, to use his words, we cannot determine the worth of these dimensions and their life forms using bureaucratic definitions. Secondly, the mold is much more beneficial than some rock. If the redacted creating the mold were reconfigured into in their purpose, the structure's sake would build a rifle the greatest skyscrapers. The mold's resistance to very strange diseases we've attempted to introduce could be derived to redacted. Yes, admittedly, the application is more difficult than picking up a rock and gluing it to a wall, but I pause to wonder when the Bureau lost its eagerness for a challenge. For to file 2-35-1863 for a full report. Uh, 
Oh, thank you. All right, there's another one. No, wait, this is the one we saw already. That's weird. Real checking in. Hello, Rhea. How is it going down there? Enjoying the mold so far? Settling back into life at the old FBC? I also want to ask how your coffee with Emily went. She's a star on the rise, incredibly bright, extremely intuitive, but I want to hear what you thought of her. I think you two could be very good on a project together. Could learn a lot from each other. Let's go together and chat about it soon. Anyway, sorry for the interruption. I'm sure you can't think of anything besides the mold right now. You always were a woman of focus. I always admired that about you. Talk soon, Casper. There's another file we missed. Mold threshold. Progress report, active threshold slash mold research. So you want to know how my mold research is getting on, Casper. Here it is. Microscopic organ organisms, similar in appearance to redacted, probably fungus, construct the architecture of the mold. I do not understand if these... Redacted are the original disseminators on the mold or are bitten by some fungal infection. The mold is more prolific and durable, is the most prolific and durable organism I have ever seen. I theorize, theorize there is a mold source located somewhere on our side of the threshold, rooted here to accelerate growth in our dimension. I refer to this yet unknown source as Mold-1. The mold produces an enticing aroma to encourage human consumption of itself. It propagates in the chest cavity and quickly subsumes the entire body, seizing control of motor functions. This behavior was not observed when I first arrived, which means the mold has adapted to our presence, targeting our biological imperatives as a way to spread. It is a truly ingenious little thing. Full report will be ready soon. Keep your slacks on. We, uh, we fought some mold, so we, we saw what that looks like. Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those his things the rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So, what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need, here. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. Okay. The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. A blooming, if you will. I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. We, uh... Probably don't want to see that. We're probably going to see that. So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau. Well, like I said, I was brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. I was employed here for a time. Straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened. About four months ago, yes. 
Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me, and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien biosphere. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but so be it. So she's a professor. That explains a lot. So is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then yes. However, I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course, Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. Ma'am, you sound like someone intimately familiar with what the inside of your own butt looks like. Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a butt coming. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. So, from what we can tell, the mold is a... ongoing problem for the... That are, or the FBC has nothing to do with the current hist mess. Probably was going on for quite a while before it started. It's a bit like learning your cat peed the carpet. Oh, and your house just caught fire. It smells so sweet down here. Suddenly I'm really hungry. I wonder how this mold tastes. No. Flamingo, AI 46-KE. Agents noticed a transient commonly found outside the entrance of the Bureau headquarters would carry the item and loudly claim to be responsible for the lack of inclement weather. The frequency of these claims attracted the personal interest of Dr. Darling. In interviews disguised as casual conversations, the transient reported that the item gives me clouds when it's hot and sun when it's not. An event of note occurred during a day during a heavy downpour when a vagrant witness performing a possible ritual while the item, see file PAI-1372 for a detailed observation. Dr. Darling reported a wall of a wait of redacted seconds before the rain stopped. The vagrant was seized the next day. After redacted, he was found to possess no redacted and was released. The item remains in bureau custody under suspicion of altered status, though this still has not been proven. All known variations of identification formulas have failed to elicit a response from the item. We have a flamingo that may or may not control the weather. Okay. Okay, this is just a dead end, so never mind it. That's where I came in.
Whoa! Uh, hi there! I probably should have meleeed that. Oh well. Seriously? At least it's easy to get back down. these things hit like trucks. Good times. Stop that one just in time to not take damage. Anybody left? Looks like a no. Let's shoot some of these out. So apparently just being near those things is dangerous.
Okay, well, let's blow some of these out from a distance if I can. There we go. What's shooting at me? I'm not seeing any indicator or anything that says there's an enemy here. Okay, blow these things out so they leave you alone. Again, we start blowing things off the walls to make them leave us the hell alone. Again, I do not understand what's shooting at me. I'm um, seeing no indicators, no sign that there's any sort of threat. I know the things on the walls at least explode if you get too close, but I see no sign of anything that could actually be shooting at me. I am amused that that keep got that that guy keeps bringing up the idea of maybe we can use bleach to get rid of the mold as as if something that mundane hasn't been tried yet.
Okay. This is proving problematic. I'm now starting to get an idea on what it is. There seems to be enemies who can strike you from well out of range in which the game would have you detect them. The problem is they're definitely accurate and their pinkish red projectiles aren't very easy to spot when everything around you is the same pinkish red color. Here, become a distraction. Here, go be a distraction. Okay, that's one. Okay, the pit is death.
Okay. Yeah, as soon as I go in there, like, three or four things have sights on me, but I've got nothing on them. I'm trying to remember what button calls up shield again, because maybe that would work, though I bet they'll just break through it in a shot or two. be a distraction for a few seconds, would ya? Thanks. sights on one of them. Let me just check something real quick. If I go to options, controls. Okay, shields Q. Am I supposed to just not land in the pit? I don't get what's happening here. Here, have a present. And the other one. Okay, let's start clearing the distractions out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, it looks like just going down there is dangerous because I'm okay right now. And then it, oh, I see that one. Not you. Got into a lab. Okay, this is good. Free heal because we were near dead, and now we have a space down here we can easily get to. No thanks. This must be one of the samples. And they got into the control point room. I'm really not clear on how you're supposed to deal with the mold. The hiss aren't so bad. You just dodge, throw stuff at them. But the mold, it's like... So much as one shot, there goes half your health. By the way, they're all back, and there's like a ton of them in here now. Have fun with that. Ow. Near the pit, which is part of that thing down there. 
near televisions and near toilets. This looks like a good one. Picnic basket procedure. Freeman Basket, AI-54-UE. Item is to be stored in a black rock paneled cell. Keep away from lab animals when not in use. A simple whisk wicker basket with cloth lining. No food items inside. The item produces a hypnotic effect that solely affects non-human animals, forcing them to congregate passively around the object. Animals from every genus and species that have thus far been tested are susceptible. Single cell organisms do not appear to react to the effect. Excuse me, need water. Six ninety seven. Item was taken to a forest upstate for testing. Results of the test provided predicting data. Some of the attracted animals exhibited hyperaggressive behavior. The exercise unfortunately resulted in redacted redacted. Further testing should be restricted to more lower risk animal species with medical staff on standby. Did you test it on a bear? Is that what happened? Did you test it on a bear? That was a cheap shot. How did I think about it? Hmm. Get rid of these things so they leave you alone. televisions. I think that's the other direction. Or perhaps over here? I remember somewhere a little while ago we saw an overgrown bathroom. So that'd be where... Maybe that was out the other direction? Down there. 
Oh, hello. Oh, okay, that's all I can get back up. Looks like they're all somewhere in here. I don't think we were this way yet. That's a sink. Okay, I'm seeing toilets, so maybe up here? Bingo. Gross. Underhill is gonna owe me for this. Is this what I fear it is? That's all five samples. I should get these back to Underhill. You know what? Can we just, uh. Is that gonna go on collectibles? Yeah. Okay. I mi There's one of these we could have got earlier. I got it when I played this off stream. I missed it. But, uh. Say hello to the most terrifying thing in the game. Shifts occur at random and without warning, but with the Bureau's cutting-edge technology, we can stabilize the oldest house. Safe employees are happy employees. Certain rituals allow agents to navigate the oldest house as well. But accidents do happen. 
<laughs> Trapping agents inside the walls. I heard you got stuck in your room for three days, Topher. Too bad you didn't have your book with you. Or any food. And remember, kids, when you feel the floor deviate, it's already much too late. You have to go inside. Real candle cove crap. Yeah, let, let's just get away from the scary television. Thank you. Hi, I brought your lunch. I found L5, but I kind of wanted to eat them. The mold has that effect on some people. Likely due to the fact it's not actually mold or even of this dimension. I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures, one dominant, coming into contact. I call it mold or fungus because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know. Except perhaps bacteria. She reminds me of my old biology teacher. Did you happen to meet any more members of my range of detail? I didn't see any rangers. Just walking mold people. Unless... Yes. If you found mold people, you found my rangers. I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. But that's nothing for you to worry about. The pill I'm about to make with these samples will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. I feel like I should ask to see your credentials. There. That didn't take too long, now did it? Ingest this pill, then go and find the source of the mold. Only there can we begin to understand how to stop it. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Great idea, Jesse. Oh, honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? Not the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. Thanks. For right. The we gotta jump down the death My pit. Pleasure. We're not done with this madness yet. This must be the pit Underhill was talking about. Cool. Actually, we're getting close quarters. Let's switch back to spin. Balloon supplement. Get well balloon, AI58-KE. The item was used in a children's ward of a local hospital and redacted. Witnesses do not recall where the balloon came from. Therapy dogs, part of a program called Redacted, meant to comfort the sick children, were noticeably attracted to the item. They reportedly jumped at the item, licking it when they could. Children claimed the dogs began walking through the halls of the hospital at night, howling in a low pitch. One child described the sound as singing. 
A few days later, the dogs were all discovered dead, a dark substance leaking from their redacted. The hospital staff called local authorities who called the CDC. Bureau agents intercepted a call and arrived at the scene within redacted hours. The item was taken for evaluation along with the remains of the dogs. See file PAI-2411.B for details. Ramsey, Ranger Captain, Note 7.25. Thunderhill sent us down this weird-ass threshold looking for whatever's making all these vegetables sprout. I will say this, um, it smells delicious. That's not a good sign. Oh, God. The further I go, the worse it smells. I hear a host. Looks like a control point. A very tiny one. But this is also my ticket back out of the pit when I'm done here. And it must mean I'm getting close to whatever is causing this madness. Is that the source? It's a butt in the floor. Kind of pretty. Wanna change that? Ah, darn it, I was actually very close to getting it. Okay, let's switch from Pierce back to Spin. Because they tend to get really close to me, and that means I can just unload on them Is when they do the that. Source? It's... Hop on up, buddy. didn't go as well. Good 
Is that the source? It's kind of pretty. Stop being surprised by all the weird shit in this place. Okay, lots of health just rolling around. I have no idea how I did that, but I certainly did it. And yeah, weird death flower thing in the floor. Um, oh, there's a doorway. Yeah, I'm getting control point. Wait. Oh, so good. You're dead. We missed one between the two. Let's hand these in now that I can do that. Oops. I accidentally abandoned the others, but whatever. All right, easiest way would be to go from central research and fall back down. Oof. Oops. This has not been a good day for me. save you. Seriously. You've returned, I see. And you're not sprouting mold from your eyes. I take it that means my pill worked. Now tell me everything. Did you find the source? You did, didn't you? I found a big angry plant. Like, gigantic. I killed it. You killed it? You found the source and you killed it? I could have learned so much from a live specimen. Her concern is touching. Really, it's too much. Here, I brought you a sample. A piece of the innermost mold. You're not such a lost cause after all. Strange. So different, even superficially. Another stage of growth, perhaps. Please, no more stages. You'll be pleased to know that cutting down the creature at the source has already resulted in a notable cessation of the mold's rapid growth. You've bought me time for further study. So what now? I'm glad you asked. While you were busy in the pit, a number of mold hosts were sighted beyond the threshold. 
They managed to sneak out without the Rangers noticing. There's a reason I didn't send Steve and Andy to find the mold source with the others. These vagrant hosts must be eradicated as soon as possible. The mold can still be spread by their overgrown bodies. Any idea where they went? The hosts I've observed are not a sprightly bunch. Here are the reports I've received. They'll help you find them. I'll go take care of them. Good. And do be quick about it. There's a nice way to say that. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. Let's see, what do we got on this? Yeah, this is more stuff meant to lead you back around through old areas. For now, I think it's time we get the Prime Candidate Program. Oh, hey, it's Hiss. I remember Hiss. They're a lot less annoying than Mold. was that control point? up a couple files. Synchronicity. Glimpse into the paranatural, synchronicity, and the unseen connections. Synchronicity is a phenomenon long recognized by the wise, but only recently given a name by science. It's how we recognize rationalized events connected by no identifiable causality, yet clearly conjoined in purpose. How does a dream foretell an event in the physical plane? Why do hounds bathe at the why do hounds bail at the death of their master which has occurred miles away 
the world is unified in ways we do not yet understand, and sometimes we stumble across these invisible unseen chords and wonder at the result. Visionary Carl Jung laid the road, now we must walk it. My fledgling research department will make it our mission to reliably re produce redacted behavior in the close of 1959. Once done, the mechanics of synchronicity will lay themselves bare in due time. We are striding into the future of science. History may not remember our names, but God himself will. Prefer to file redacted for full report. Threshold utility. Thresholds have always been sources of great inspiration and great challenge. When a new threshold manifests in the oldest house by redacted, we never know what new discoveries will provide to the Bureau. But we must always seize these opportunities. This report will examine the process of distinguishing recent threshold effects based on their utility possibilities. Query brought Black Rock, one of our most valuable discoveries, but if the mold has any scientific value, it has been difficult to find due to the lengths we must go to in fighting back the particularly prolific plant. These are vastly distinct cases and worth comparing as their study offers vastly different dangers and rewards. Refer to file 5-94-1284 for the full report. Yeah, it's just... Well, that stings a little. On the good news, fast travel to the last <laughs> control point. First of all, since I'm using so much, let's start boosting the energy reserves. Let me go back to this. Looks like where we want to go is let's go to Panopticon and go back through security. Or Let me check. Where was I wanted? Any active duty security personnel found engaging in non-sanctioned leisure activities will be relieved of duty pending review, sir. You could have just said no. Black Rock. Yeah, okay, I'm getting led. I want to be over here. Prime Candidate Program. All right, then. 
Yeah, I just said that. We can elaborate on that a bit. After North Moore stepped down, I doubled every effort to find new prime candidates. There was no one. No one but me. That wasn't good enough. I pushed hard. I never wanted the Bureau to end up in that situation again. The Bureau needs a director. Always. When my time reaches an end, I want more options on the table. P1 through P5 were all false leads, dead ends, and disappointments. Then, P6, Dylan Faden. He fell into our arms. No parents, they're gone, casualties of an AWE. The boy has exceptional talent. The oldest house will be his home. We'll build him from the ground up. He'll be trained and taken care of. Darling can be in charge of this project. I can't. I'll stay away. I will not fail the boy like I... failed my own family. My daughter and my wife. We weren't careful enough back then. Something came home with me. I took work home. My Susanna got sick. When I realized my mistake, I wanted to bring her here for Darling to do what he could. Kate flat out refused. Civilian doctors treated our daughter, but they didn't have a clue. She died. Kate left me. Same old story. That was a long time ago. The Bureau is all I have now. And the prime candidates are our future. There are two. P6 and P7. We're spoiled for choice. You know, it just occurred to me, and this is probably just a funny little coincidence. Uh... Number six was what the protagonist was known as in the old series, The Prisoner. Just a random thought that hit me. Ooh, wait, I can turn this guy? Don't mind if I do! That helps a little. Whoa! Hi! I'm being raided! Wow! 
Hi guys! Actually, that's weird. How come I didn't... Do you guys see an alert go off? There should have been one, but I didn't see it. Or hear it. Yep. Yeah. Sorry I'm not able to watch you guys as much since I started this up. Um. Huh? I think gravity's going a little funny in this room. I'm not sliding down or anything. Right, Falls, AWE, 35. Alan Wake, oh! That's another game by the same... Uh, no, that's Alice Wake, but Alan Wake was by the same company. Alice Wake, Mr. Wake, that would be Alan Wake. It's another game made by the same company. Pretty cool. Mr. Wake's wife was found during the Bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of redacted memory loss. She was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in a threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after the Bright Falls event are FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale and Dr. M. Hartman, referred to the creator's dilemma in the file Re the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Bureau researchers believe that this event was the result of a forceful perception of subjective reality stemming from Mr. Wake, overlapping on our own. Wake had been flagged as a potential para-utilitarian, see Prime Candidate Program file for more details. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press, New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor peri-utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance. Notes. Monitoring station was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. So, this is probably all in reference to the game Alan Wake. Which, I have, it's pretty good. I've been contemplating if I want to try to stream it around, like, October. After this, I think I'm going to want to do something else. Maybe the lower floor? So how'd Dragon Quest go, anyway? Good. Think you're going to want to do the others? Three was actually the first game of the series I ever played. Great stuff. It goes back to start. Oh no, not again. Here we'll we'll put this through collectibles. Ah, that makes sense. Uh, something to get back to later, and oh, oh god, this thing. I can see you're upset, Meg. Why don't you tell Uncle Mr. Bones what's wrong? I did bad on my clairvoyance test. You can't ace every test, Meg. 
You see, everyone has different brains. I don't know, and I don't think I want to. Some brains can talk to each other. We call this ESP. ESP? <laughs> Some brains can lift objects, like a baseball. Talk about a fly ball, eh, Meg? <laughs> no interruptions! So who cares if you fail your clairvoyance test? Maybe your brain can throw baseballs, or talk to dead people, or make friends blind. Once we know what your brains can do, we'll know what job to give you. And if your brains are just right, you'll get to sit in the big chair. <laughs> I don't want the big chair. What if I don't want the big chair? Everyone wants the big chair, Hank! That's why we're all here. Use those brains to listen for once, or the only chair you'll get in is the one with straps. You know, funny thing, when we found the one earlier and it finished, the first words out of my mouth were, you have to go inside. Yeah, it's very Candle Cove. Let, let's just walk away from the scary thing. P6, this should be interesting. I wish things had gone differently and ordinary for us. Uh, we'll just put this again. It's easier to watch for everyone if I just put it on multimedia. Ordinary. So much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. And the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six, and the sister as well. I mean, once we catch up with her, but the the boy, that's so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here, and and I don't want to invoke his name. It's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. There was an incident. Yes. a valuable member of our team, yes. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's... He, he's just a kid. I, I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident, that's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Wishing won't change things. Ordinary. Finding the projector will. They picked up a couple files I'll read. Dylan Faden. Dylan Faden transcript. Transcript to conversation. Subject Dylan Faden for review by Dr. Darling. No, subject was alone during this outburst. 
You again. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the fuck out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her. I don't care anymore, and I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. Fuck off, you bitch. I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the fucking message. Subject repeated the phrase fuck off numerous times before being sedated at 1753. Uh, Dalen is Jesse's brother who we came here looking for. And I will note the, uh, he's probably talking to Polaris in this. P Polaris being the, remember when earlier on in the game, I think you were here for this, where Jesse kept talking about someone else and it seemed Weirdly, like she was breaking the fourth wall. That's Polaris. Who's some sort of thing that also came out of the projector. Seems helpful, though. Not the hiss. And it's this P6 victim autopsy. Agent killed during redacted involving redacted. Codename P6. So it's probably Dylan Faden written there. Autopsy findings. Blunt force injuries of the head and neck, extensive trauma of the abdominal region, lacerations and contusions of the upper and lower torso, fracture of the spinal cord between the L1 and L2 vertebrae, fusion fracture of the third through tenth ribs left and right, blunt force injuries of the extremities, abrasions, lacerations, and contusions of the extremities, dislocation of the left and right elbow, dislocation of the left and right knee. Conclusion. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the redacted was redacted, and when the redacted was contorted through its redacted. Ow! I don't know the details, but it sounds like this guy got brutalized. Like, I'm thinking human pretzel. I suspect because this is us. We need to find that projector. We have an outfit. Jesse Faden movement tracking. Oh, that's not the least bit unsettling. Eastward movement. Cause for concern. As her depart a spot in Wyoming. And then, yeah, it looks like it's a list of stops between her leaving home and arriving in New York City where the Feder where the FBC building is, a.k.a. the oldest house. The interesting thing about the redactions is we've seen enough now that I, we can make some educated guesses on what the redacted text actually is, especially since some files refer to unredacted bits of other files. Or things we just seen in game, so we know. We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember, was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like... It had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. A dump is a place for lost things. Things that have been thrown away. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes. But that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? Can you remember? At parties? Barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No, that's just stupid. Come on, 
That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. This light projector, let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there, away from your parents. I don't... I... I don't think so. I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. I suspect the therapist was a bureau agent. And yeah, I will note this is a game where the more readily you can analyze and overthink what's going on, the scarier and more unsettling it gets. There is a lot of fill in the blanks. You do not want to fill in the blanks. Also, wait, let me just... So it stops warning me we didn't r listen to the thing we just listened to. What was that about? I studied what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. So I want to go up towards the turntable. Oh, they're out and about. Ah, darn it. Wow, we ended up back quite a ways. Which is annoying because we weren't done back there, so I have to go all the way back now. And belatedly, so apparently we were one of the candidates and the Bureau was at least somewhat aware of us heading this way. I love that I can do that. Hmm. Yes, we start getting rid of. Oh, hey, better health recovery for a pickup. And we'll do better energy recovery. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I need to make room, so let's get rid of all our level threes. And darn it, I was hoping to catch that. Second floor. Go straight ahead. I studied what happened in ordinary here. Okay. That's the place to start looking.
turn this guy. Okay. Hmm, something in there. I'll just break these now and while I'm thinking about it. Let's go ahead and break down our level three weapon mods. So that's full of hiss. Shopping manifest, Willow AWE. Uh, a hol inventory list of recovered material. Oh, it's shipping list. Inventory list of recovered materials. A hollow sphere, stone like material. Maybe black rock. Vitrified soil, redacted pieces of various sizes and colors. Animal carcasses, probably canine. Rusted metal bucket, leather wallet. Age shotgun cartridge. All materials to go to the investigation sent sector for further analysis. Not funny. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. Experiments. Turn this one guy. Again, change a guy. Okay, this is good. We found a control point. Now I don't get sent to all the way back when I die. Also, it makes the room a little less freaky. We're going back home. Of course we are. It started... Ooh, we can do a bunch of stuff. Uh, let's upgrade spin, because I'm using it so much. All right, let's just upgrade it all the way so my two primary weapons are good. There, and it's... Never gone away. Be 
Big bonus to damage. And an accuracy buff. Wait, we can turn that guy, so keep him busy for me. And we'll just claim this guy while we're at it. Oh God, Astral Spike, Astral Spike. I hate those things. I mean, I realize they're not that hard to deal with because they're so slow moving, but ah. Also, it looks like the mold is down here. I'm betting it's down here. Oh, yep, bridge operator. It's fine, the spike can't climb stairs. That's not a joke, it literally can't. Helpful. Work chat. Teeth. Guess who just had to inspect an inbound delivery of like a hundred teensy tiny little boxes? Me, that's who. And who knows what's inside each one? A single human tooth. Fucking gross. Someone else had to pull a whole plane apart, so that was interesting. There you go, buddy. Turn around. Yes, yes, I did. Ordinary enemy.
Okay, there's a second one. I just need to find its thing. Not you. Oh, is this a plane I got pulled apart earlier? Hmm. Oh, I see. I didn't get them all. There's one left. Okay, where's the thing for it? It's in here. No problem. We're not pulling this trick twice. Ordinary AWE, Stage 1A, Witness Testimonies. Hmm. The first slide was a room with dirty wallpaper and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. Interview in 2002. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. From therapy session in 2010. I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. Nope, likely Neil Hosenberg. Missing. It was mean. He had asthma. Tom, note, likely Tom Barlow, missing. And his gang, Freddy, note, likely Frederick Bartwell, missing. Hugo, the one by this name was found in public records, bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Interview from 2002. Extrapolate information. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide. Designation, house. Oh, there's probably something I had to go push in here. There we go. We'll see that in multimedia, but first let me read the file. Ordinary summary, AWE 24. An AWE occurred in the town of Ordinary, caused by an object of power. Slide projector ID OP15. Discovered by local children at the dump outside of town. 
When a specific set of slides are used in the projector, the projected images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. On August 30th, 2002, siblings Daylin, no, Dylan Faden, 10-year-old, CP6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11-year-old, CP7 materials, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector. COP15 case file and Darling presentations redacted for details. A team led by Dr. Director Trench and Dr. Darling arrived on, at the site on September 14th. The AWE had ended, but the team found the Faden children, who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been burned with the ex exception of one. Jesse escaped when an agent attempted to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. The interviews redacted and prime candidate program files redacted. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world in the form of altered world events. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life, popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions. Or die trying. Hmm. There is a curious correlation with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our Okay, you know what? It's 10.58 and I generally stop at 11, so this would be a good stopping point for now. We've reached a control point. Which means, time to find a raid, a place to raid. Let's see who's doing something interesting. Hopefully everyone had fun. I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. It's going to be a different game. I'm thinking I'm going to try to figure out Dominions 5, which should be interesting. Let's see who's up to what right now. Know what? Got carified about. Looks like he's about to start dishonored. Let's go say hi. Start the raid up again. I'll see everyone tomorrow, hopefully. See you later.